Hey, pal. Hey, doing, Daniel? You all right? Not too bad, mate. How are you? I'm good. I'm sorry about the mask. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got corona, so I've been wearing it just in case around the house. Oh, God tested. bless you, mate. God That's all right. No, it's fine. No, 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 it's fine. It's uh, it's just uh, basically until I get tested and stuff. Yeah. Oh, God bless you. When's your test? It's today. So, yeah. Oh, God. I'm sure you'll be fine. But, but, you'll be all yeah, right. Little, yeah, it's just a bit later on. I'm not too. It's just more of my uh, mum and dad, you know. Just yeah. Do it then. Just be safe thing. for them. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. So oh, fair dues to you, mate. Fair dues. That's that's yeah, cheers, man. Really good <laughs> thing. Boy, fair bless, but God bless you. Right. That's cheers, well, man. Cheers. That's all right. Thank you so much for doing this, even with especially. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. It's all right. Don't worry. That's nice, fine. It's fine. <laughs> so the main thing for me doing this is obviously at the moment we've got COVID going around, <laughs> and we're not able to go out. We're not able to build a community. We're not really able to do anything musically because. Yeah obviously we're not allowed to yeah, um, yeah <laughs> so the whole point for this is to build a community and then as soon as we are allowed to go out just go out we've got a community there we've got 10 yeah, yeah. people we can contact go oh are you around we've got a gig tonight um do you fancy coming and if you've got a missus partner whatever straight away it's two of you going and if you've got 15 it's 30 people supporting you that's the main it's a nice, thing. Ni- nice thing to do. That's a nice thing to do. Try my best. Definitely. Try my best. Definitely. That's <laughs> right. Good. So, just going to jump straight into it. Mm-hmm. What was the first thing that got you into music? Right. So, when I was younger, my dad, um, since he was young, basically, I always played keyboard. Okay. And um, as I was growing up, I always used to know, you, you know, like go over to it and, you know, just, just play around with the keys a little yeah. bit, you know, as making you your own. Yeah. Thinking you're, you know, thinking you're Elton John at that age when yes. you're not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And then uh, that kind of got me into swing of things. And, um, you know, you go through your teenage years and that, and you start listening to, uh, you know, like, well, I started listening to a lot of uh, Eminem, but, you know, as you do, yes. a lot of people do. Um, and, you know, who's he not inspired? <laughs> and, uh, and, at, and at that point, I knew this, uh, this guy called, um, he's, he's a good friend of mine called Harry. Um, he goes under the name of uh, Franklin Sounds. He's his, his alias. And um, it basically, like, you know, we started talking in that. We, uh, about music he was into his uh you know his dubstep and rap and kind of things i'm into my rap so we thought you know let's you know start doing songs together he was good with the beats so uh he made uh, a few beats and that and sent them over to me and i you know wrote to it yeah. recorded it sent it back and then uh kind of just gone from there really and then uh you know to now basically making an album uh but i, I made the beats now but then uh I, I send it over to him and then, you know, because I make a lot of mistakes, just, you know, just, just to like <laughs> fix a few things up and uh, yeah. he mixes, you know, I write the lyrics, record it, send it off to him. He mixes the beat, you know, the vocals, fixes everything up and yeah. That is. That's brilliant. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> really, so I've just noticed in the background there, you've got exactly mm-hmm. the same canvas as I've got just there. <laughs> All the, uh, what, what is the, um, what is life without music? It's life yeah. without music. Yeah, I've had that for like uh, like five years now. I got it from I think I got it from like home bargains or something. I got <laughs> something mine like from um, was it the uh, range? The range. Yeah. The range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they have them in. Uh, yeah, I just thought it was in the background. They have like lights as well, don't they? Yeah. Like, little switch you can right press. Yeah. Just yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not very bright, is it? No. No, it's not. Yeah. I like it though. It looks awesome. <laughs> it does. It does. It just gives a. Uh, it just gives the room, you know, that little uh, that edge. You a little know bit I mean? something else, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, just a little. But yeah. Uh, hopefully, I'm gonna like you know uh, sort it out with like acoustic panels, but I've just not got around right to it. I've, I've got basically the, this this thing here is like yeah. is an alternative for now, basically. That's fair <laughs> enough. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're all right. The Aston Halos, I think they're called something like that. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'd just seen that in the background. Anyway, back to that. <laughs> Would you say it was your dad then with the keyboards and pianos that first inspired you to play music, or was it the um, artists that you were listening to and you wanted to go, "I want to be like them"? Well, I did like playing the keyboard, you know, at, at the time and that, and I thought, you know, I started listening to like rap and that, you know, yeah. pop and all that kind of thing, and uh, you know, it, I kind of like the, you know, the dark music and that, you know, like the the melodies, like dark melodies and stuff like that, and then you know hard hitting drums and things so i thought like you know i could use the the keyboard you know midi keyboard to, to play in some melodies and just yeah so i, I think it was I think it was my dad yeah he pretty much got me into it at the start so yeah oh it's lovely <laughs> then, uh, when it's family <laughs> yeah 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 
But uh, you know, I think it backfired because I'm very loud now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so well, yeah. How would you say then that you write your music? Uh, so I basically, you know, uh, start with the beat, you know, like a melody or something. I'd add drums, you know, make sure it's knocking a little bit. And then um, I just, you know, sit, uh, play the, literally play the beat back constantly. Sometimes I even go in my car and listen to it. And then, uh, you know, I start writing to it on my, uh, on my phone, you know, on the notes. Yes. Yeah. I'm exactly and the then, same. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I just don't use paper. I, I used to at the very start and then, you know, it's just easier to just to like get the phone out and just take whatever. Yeah. But um, yeah, I just, I just, uh, just you know, uh, get a feel of what the beat is. If it's like an angry song, a happy song, a sad song, and then, uh, you know, just just write to it, basically. Yeah. And then Where's the inspiration it. for that come from? Is it life events? Is it news? Is it um, non-fiction? Fiction? Uh, well, life events, non-fiction, you know, yeah. it's kind of like that music, you know, where, like, uh, it's kind of like, you know, like a horrorcore. Uh, like what, it's, sorry? It's called a horrorcore. It's like a it's like a music genre. It's, it's okay. still rap, but it's like dark rap, you know what I mean? You know, like the darker, yeah. the dark essence yeah. kind of thing. But uh, okay. it, it, I've got a mixture, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it, it can be like life events, you know, writing about that, this and that, and that kind of thing. So, so it, it just comes from anywhere. Could you be, do you sit down to write or could you be out or? Uh, it, I, could, I could literally, uh, one thing I do, which which annoys people, I'll just be walking around and I'll just start like rapping to myself a little bit. Oh, sometimes I'll be in the car and I'll just start, and I'm like, you know, what, I'm going to write that down. <laughs> it'll go to that. And then, uh, you know, I, I just kind of build it up from there. I don't, I don't normally write it all down in one session. I kind of just do it whilst I'm going about, you know, kind of thing. I think that's the best so. thing to do because if you, if you, me personally, if I get a line in my head, I mm-hmm. will try to sit down and write to it. But nine times out of ten, you can't because you don't yeah. have that inspiration. If you've got those lines though and you're singing it, rapping it in your head, and I, I'll go for a drive or something, go for a walk, mm-hmm. and something will just come, and I'll be like. It'd be like a little spark. That, yeah, that's that. Yeah, yeah. It's like because um, with with me as well. Like I, I can't just uh, you know, it's it's one of them. Like I don't know how you feel with this, but like, I can't like I can't force it out. You know what I mean? It has to be like it has to just come like naturally. You know what I mean? Like I can't just be like I got to force this now because it'll end up just you know sounding just Thanks sounding that. bad basically. Yeah, yeah basically. No, um, I get that completely. I'm exactly the same. There's two three lines of songs on my phone and just mm-hmm. scroll through notes and got hundreds of things there but it they're just <laughs> parts that i've never gone back to just because i can't Wait. there's no inspiration for it i was literally talking to um like my friend harry like he does all the songs with me. like we we go through so many so many songs and then we never finish them we never go back to them and it's just like why it is because you start you start on another song and you're like you know i'm feeling this more than that one now yeah. And it's, it's, it's a bad way to, to go. I do it all the time. <laughs> yeah. Well, not sure if you know this. You know the band Queen? Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Bohemian Rhapsody came from six or seven different songs that Freddie Mercury just could not finish. Put them really? all together and he made Bohemian Rhapsody. Is that why has that like change halfway through it? Like is, that, is that what that is? Ten different changes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was yeah. just because like I uh, with the, with that song, I've always liked the start part more. You know, with the piano and that. Okay. And then when it goes into it, yeah, yeah, I'm not into that part as much, but I'm into the okay. start of it. But yeah, nice. It's, it's, yeah, that, yeah, that's where uh, the Union Rhapsody <laughs> came from. It was just a group of different songs just put together. That's all it was. I, I, do you know what? The more the more you know. I never knew that. No, <laughs> that, is really, that is really that is really cool though. Like, that, Give it a go that, later no. on. Put some songs together. I'm, <laughs> Come, come through with like 10 different, yeah. I, Ten I should song. <laughs> 20 minutes, probably. Like, I, Why not? I, <laughs> Why not? You know, I, just too many, like, you know, uh, I, it's, it's a bad habit of mine. I've always done it. It's, it's really yeah. bad. I should stop doing it. I should go just finish <laughs> it and then move on. The thing is, you, you never be able to do that. That's the annoying yeah, thing. As soon it, as you it, got it, it is. It, it's, 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 it's most annoying thing ever and 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 uh harry hates me for it yeah. <laughs> so i'm sorry if, you, if you're listening <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah well do you perform live then or um you performed live I, I have i went i went to um college for it um you know got, uh, did about it was three years though uh so it was like the performance side of it yeah and uh 
you know, I, I never took it too seriously, really. Um, right. You know, the, the teachers even knew that. Like, I'd rather just be in, like, my own little zone. Because, like, um, you'd, you'd have to go in and, um, you know, perform with other people uh, as, like, a live act. But I'd always, like, prefer if I was sat in a room on my own and then just write my own, you know, music kind of thing. And then I, I just, like, work, I just like working like that. I just thought it was... You know, like when you're with other people, because uh, you had to do a, a few originals. I couldn't like, I can't write when I'm around people. Uh, I can't. I don't, I don't. Yeah, it's like writer's block, isn't it? And, and it's just like, you know, I, I just can't. I just can't work like that. So I kind of like, you know, uh, dropped out in the third year, which I regret because <laughs> I didn't get my uh, qualifications at the end of it. Uh, but uh, I just thought, you know, I just get a job now, whatever, and then uh, on on the side, yeah, you know, I'll uh, write my own on music and that and make my own songs. So. That's what I've been doing basically. Yeah, no, that's fair yeah. enough. Are you looking to do gigs after obviously lockdown um, and everything, or are you sort of just taking your time with it? It's kind of like uh, I've just been taking my time basically. Like, um, you know, finished this uh, album that I've been doing for like <laughs> a long time now. I keep, uh, you know, a lot of people asking why is it taking so long, and it is taking long. It, you know, I gotta make sure it's uh, it's bang on because I'm one of the people who, like if it doesn't sound like how I want it, you know. I'll, I want a different song, that kind of thing, and then uh, yeah. yeah. But when I've when I've done the album, hopefully, uh, you know, if people take to it, maybe like perform them songs. Yeah, hopefully. That'd be good. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Never, never rush an album. It's taken. Um, I released my first EP in 2016, mm -hmm. and I'm only just doing a follow up. Um, mm -hmm. well, this year, it, it's taken oh. five, five years for. Uh, oh, for me to do a second. Just send me, just send me. I'll listen to it. You know. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Get a bit of, just like draw a bit of inspiration from that as well. You know, I, I like listen to uh, all sorts of different like genres and just you know and get inspired from it. That kind yeah, of thing. my, my, my but, son uh, is very much singer songwriter, so I'm not too sure whether it be down your street. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> well, yeah, 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 exactly. Like uh, you know, it, it, you say about four years. Do you say till I follow up? Like uh, it's probably took me years. about yeah. oh, five years. Yeah. Five. It probably took it's probably took me of that just to get one album. So you know you you are nothing winning. wrong with that. Just <laughs> yeah, take yeah. your time. Don't rush it. Your first album, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First album, yeah. Yeah. How many songs are you up to? It's about roughly about it's so it's like a twelve, thirteen track album. And okay. right right now we've got about like six, five, six, and some are like you know skits on the album. You know, it's kind of like a storytelling album in a way. That's brilliant. That's the yeah. best way to write an album. If you have an idea in your head, um, have you heard of Green Day? Uh, yeah, I have heard of Green Day. Yeah, Fantastic. Yeah. Look at American Idiot. It's very political, yet it tells the story of what's a name and mm -hmm. whatever the guy's called in it. Um, you look at the next album, 2009, which that one took five years, 21st Century Breakdown. That's the story of Gloria and Christian. And it starts off they're all in love, they're together, nice and happy. They go through a bit of stuff, there's a little breakup, get back together, blah, blah, blah. But there's a whole story there. So that, I, I personally think, is, is the best way to write an album. If you've got an idea in your head of yeah. waking up in the morning, getting breakfast, having lunch, going out in the afternoon, having dinner, having a drink and going to bed, there's yeah. an album for you. <laughs> yeah it's planned out as well isn't it you know yeah. what i mean like that's uh literally all you can do plan it that's out what I, it, it's kind of you, you have that like vision don't you like i don't know about like you get them visions where you're like i want this to look like this or to sound like this and then you know you kind of work with people <laughs> yeah 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 that's what i mean <laughs> i'll be honest with you that's exactly how i'm like, like I, I do work with my uh you know for harry because he he does you know he's he's a great guy you know he's, yeah. he's been uh he's stuck with me for a long time now you know he uh it just basically does all the mix inside everything and just you know polishes everything up yeah. and like uh so it's good for that like i do listen to his ideas but when i'm like making the you know the beat and and writing the lyrics it's like it's gotta be mine like kind of idea yeah. like, i know it's a bad it's a bad way to you know go about it but no, i get that completely if if i brought <laughs> someone in and collaborated with them we wrote a song together or we used one of my songs i know a finished product before i've even started recording so yeah, that's why yeah. I do everything myself. I've got I've got the equipment. I do everything. So mm -hmm. if someone came in and was just like, "Oh, why don't you try this?" No, 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 no. get away. <laughs> Did this for a reason. 
bugger off. Yeah, exactly. That's 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 how I, that's how I feel. Like. I just got to work on on my own. Like it's it, it, the creative side of it, anyway. And then you know, uh, when when uh Frank Winston is you know uh, mixing my stuff, like obviously I listen to him on that side because he's a lot he's a lot smarter than me when it comes to like mixing and mastering. I, I, I'm hopeless. So fair enough. Just takes oh, experience. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah. It's just uh, you know, I've always been bad at that. So it's just I'm 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 good at making the like the beat side of it and the writing the lyrics and recording. And after that, I'm just I'm I'm hopeful. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. just keep practicing. That's all I can say. Just keep practicing because you'll get to a point where you're like, oh, this sounds really good. And you'll use yeah. that. Still send it to him to to say what do you think of this sort of thing. I've got a mate of mine at the moment and he's come into my studio and we've recorded together mm-hmm. and he, he does little bits by himself. Uh, he sent a track over to me on Saturday night and he said, what do you think of this? And I said, do you want me to do a mix of my own or do you just want the advice to change it? And he said, well, both really. So he sent me the tra- the stems over today or tomorrow mm-hmm. and he's also doing a mix of his own which i've sort of advised to do it is just taking the advice that people give you on board yeah. and acting on it so for Definitely. example yeah. i will always say a kick drum needs to mm-hmm. this is for like just a standard drum kit a kick yeah. drum needs to always slightly overpower a cymbal and a snare yeah. be just slightly behind that kick drum if you've got yeah. that you've got a perfect midi drum kit yeah well yeah like with the uh with the, with the kick drums and the snows, like you know, John, it has to like. It's basically a thing in like rap. It's basically the kick has to like, you know, yes. punch, like knock, not like when you in when you sat in the car, or uh, you know when you got headphones on. The the kick has to just like yeah. proper punch through. But then obviously then there's a there's a way where you don't want it to like you know uh, to start or clip basically clip the mix. You kind of have to do it in a way where it, it's it's knocking, but it's not like you know. Uh, overpowering the whole mix you know like just yeah. taking over it kind of thing which uh, i've tried it and that's what exactly what it does it just it, it hits too hard and <laughs> just uh, text everything with it the vocals everything everything so compressor and limiter is all you need my friend yeah 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 <laughs> honestly I, I should like you know start learning about it and go into it kind of thing but yeah it's just uh you know like that's like my friend i work with he's really good at it so i just leave it to him because he's, he's yeah. don't blame you <laughs> just do the creative side and then yeah yeah why not why not <laughs> yeah. So, well, yeah. with recording then have you mm-hmm. got any stories that you could sort of share hopefully pg no swearing involved <laughs> that you've done <laughs> with your mates that you've just sort of gone back and forth with have you got any stories like oh let's just scrap this song on board um all the time uh yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> You know, uh, I'll send I'll, I'll send him a song that I'm like I've been really passionate about uh, beforehand. Yeah. Send to, and I, re- I record it that much and listen to it back. That I don't know if you do that, but I listen to this, like when I finish a song, whatever I listen to it back constantly just to like you know uh, see how see how it's sounding and that. And then you know we'll be in the mixing pro- process of it and he'll show his screens or whatever and he'll be mixing it. And then uh, I'll be like halfway through, I'll be like, yeah, I'm not <laughs> I'm not feeling not this happy. right now. <laughs> <laughs> go on to the next song and then literally we never go back to that again and it's, 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 it's a bad it's a bad uh, it's a bad way to go about it <laughs> when you record a song this is a little tip for you again mm-hmm. leave it as soon as you've recorded it leave it for the day go back to yeah. it in the morning do not don't go back to it in the afternoon the evening at night if you can't sleep if you're thinking about it make notes and do it in the morning yeah. As soon as you yeah. listen to it with fresh ears, you'll hear it in a different sense. Yeah, that that is exactly what I was saying. Because I, I was see, I always try to say that to people, but I never I never know how to word it. That is exactly what like what happens. Like yeah. I, I'll I'll be recording it and I'll and after the you know I record I listen it back. I'm like, you know, I'm I'm liking that, I'm liking that, you know, and then I'll and I'll and I'll keep listening to it and then I'll start picking it apart and I'm like, okay, I don't like this about it. I don't like the vocals how are this disowning right now. I don't like how, you know, uh, the snare sounding. And then, you know, you, you just get like, you basically just get like uh, fed up with it, don't you? And then you just move on to the next song and be like, I'll go back to that sometime. You and never you do. And you never do. So Never do. <laughs> and, and yeah, so uh, basically, yeah, that is the best best advice. Like literally just, 
don't listen to it until the next day and yeah, then, and then just don't and then just don't overplay it yeah basically oh, it's the worst so, thing i i'm yeah. i'm guilty for that yesterday um i was working on some new music for mm-hmm. potentially another ep album whatever it oh, yeah. out to be and i was just listening to it over and over i listened to the acoustic guitars I, I solo everything so listen to the guitars perfect put in the electric mm. okay not happy drums okay a bit better bass get everything together get the mix it sounds all right but then i've listened to it before we came on call this morning that's why i was a tiny bit late yeah. and it just it just sounds completely different that it's just yeah i can't explain it it just sounds like a different track but it's oh. because i listened to it so much yesterday exactly like that's what i mean and, and you get into this uh you get into this routine of just, of just doing it all the time and like it, it, it literally sound ex- like completely different to what it did the day before because like you've rested on it and you give your ears a, a rest and all that and and i always think like you know i was still like oh it, it could be where i'm listening to like, it could be on my head it could be the headphones for instance or it could be the phone and it's like okay do you know what i'm gonna listen to it in the car and see how i feel about it in the car and i go back to the phone i'm like i hate this but like, it is to do with you know uh, how you mix it and, and like but it's basically referencing isn't it like you know i got these these headphones thinking like you know uh they, they are dead they're quite dead headphones you know like uh it'll tell you exact pretty much how it how yeah. the mix is actually sounding and uh i don't know if you've heard about uh, yamaha speakers you know the hs fives I didn't know there was a HS5, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've got them like here, like like the, the basically the the smallest version you can get. And the, the new ones. Um, no, I think. 2019. I think, uh, no, I think I think they've been around for quite a while. It's just uh, they they do have like different versions. Like they do update them. I think as as they yeah. go along, kind of like the uh, the KRK. Uh, They're perfect. Like yeah, yeah. They're a lot and, of money, uh, but uh, if you've yeah, got they are. Get them. <laughs> Well, yeah, there was kind of like um, a lot, a lot of uh, artists, you know, get like uh, two, two uh, sets of speakers, you know, just to like reference on. And but uh, I've heard with these Yamahas are quite, um, they got like a, a flat response, and they're quite, you know, they're quite dead as well. So I, I use them, you know, to uh, test. Basically, it's like it, it, I, I, I treat it as like a car mix, basically, when I'm listening okay. to the speakers. But uh, yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, that's fair enough. I mean, you, you're only going to have two places where people are going to listen to music. It's going to be in a car or on the phone. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be anywhere else. That's exactly what my friend said. And I'm always like, oh, but what happens if they're listening on, you know, uh, I don't know, like these... A Mac, these a computer. Suits, yeah, these super HD tech, this and that. What happens if it doesn't sound good on these, this happen. and that? What happens if it doesn't sound good on these these headphones from Asda? I don't know. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And it's, yeah. uh, it's, it's, such a, it's such a bad way to go about it. It really if, is. Yeah, if you can get a mix where you're happy with it, listening to it through a phone, through mm-hmm. just phone speakers out the bottom, then you'd be happy with it on anything. Because if you could, if it can sound good on a phone, it will sound mm-hmm. good on anything. Well, yeah, because like a lot of um, phones in the past, of I think uh, the iPhones was like mono, wasn't there? And I think a lot of iPhones are going stereo. They are stereo from the uh, X. S- S- is it X? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I think something like that. And and you know, stereo is better for uh, you know listening to music on that. Yeah, uh, I agree because you can listen through headphones, and I do it with my music. It's called panning, where you put mm-hmm. something to the left speaker, something to the right speaker, and that gives oh, it yeah. the stereo effect to make it feel mm-hmm. like it's there. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's 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 what we do with the you know the the chorus. So when I'm doing yeah. like a I'm I'm not the best singer by all means I'm not um <laughs> but I'll I'll record about I don't know like seven eight takes of that and then you'll pan it to the left to the right yeah and then put a few in the middle and then put a few you know um you know things underneath it a different and and then it, it eventually sounds all right you know when it's like panned all around it feels like a big you know all around you especially when you're on headphones like you say <laughs> I get that <laughs> so... I get that. Well, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, then we've spoken a lot about singing, rapping, music. Are you artistic in any other way? Um, I don't, I don't think so. I think this is the only thing I've, I've ever like really <laughs> done. <laughs> but yeah. you know, I've, I've tried Mind to drawing or uh, mm, no. My my girlfriend is into drawing. She's a okay. you know she's a very good uh, she's very good at drawing, at painting and things and. She draws me a little logos and things, and it's cool. It's really cool, you know. Um, 
and I've got another friend who does it as well. He's like into logo design and things like that. Okay. But me, but me, I'm just um, I'm just music. Uh, you know, I've always done like rapping and that, but uh, going you know going through the whole rapping thing. But uh, nothing I did football. I, nothing wrong with that at all. Just sticking with music. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did the you know the the football thing before, and you know I was never good at football. I was, you know, <laughs> you're still into football though. Um, playing it, yeah. Watching it, no. I, oh, I'm okay. a bit. It's a bit weird. Like a lot of a lot of you know guys, lads, whatever. They they like to watch football, but I've never been into the watching side of it. More like okay. you no. Know, so you don't support kind of anyone. Not no, not really. No, I'm not really into all the the football thing. I'm, I'm kind of more into you know just the music kind of thing. Yeah. But uh, I, I do play football uh, when it's on. You know, coronavirus and that. But uh, yeah, when I, yeah, okay. <laughs> I just don't, just never watch it. No, that's fair enough. Well, moving on then to how mm-hmm. we're speaking, the internet. Mm-hmm. How do you yes. feel the internet has impacted music as a whole, whether it be new artists, whether it be someone trying to learn guitar, whether it be someone, mm-hmm. a new artist again, trying to get the music out there? How do you feel it's impacted, whether it's helped, not helped, whether there's pros, cons, mm-hmm. open conversation, go ahead. <laughs> I think I think the internet, like right now, the, the time we are living in right now, it, it couldn't be any better. Like, because like, I don't know, like, say, uh, you know, 20, 30 years ago, whatever, you know, the internet wasn't really, you know, a thing. It wasn't popping like it is now. Mm-hmm. And um, a, a lot of people had to wait for the, you know, the break, basically, like, if this, uh, you know, this this record label picks me up, they find me, you know what I mean? And, and that's how people, uh, you know, became, like, a name back then. But I think now, like, oh, man, it's, you, you couldn't live in a better time. You know, you've got uh, these, all these platforms, all these these social platforms, you know, you've got your, your Instagram, your Facebook, your Twitter, yeah. just basically everything. And you've got all these um, streaming platforms like Spotify, uh, you know, a lot of people use SoundCloud and, and things yeah. like that. And like, you can literally just do your own promotion. And it's like, with a lot of people, they're like, they overlook it. They're like, oh no, you know, I need, I need to be signed. I need to find this, uh, this, this, this record label. They need to sign me, you know, but it's not the case now. Like, you know, a lot of people overlook it and you can literally just do it yourself. You know, the internet is like, it's a very, very, uh, powerful tool. Like, I completely to agree. Like, you, you, you've touched on something there with um, the record labels. Mm-hmm. They are fantastic, especially if you can get a record label and a manager who care for you, because they yeah. give you a, a grant to go out, go to a big studio, for example, Abbey Road, first one that comes to head. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can do anything you want. You can build your own. If you sent them a demo, Record yeah. that with a full band. Get the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra in. They don't care, yeah. just as long as it yeah. sounds good. So exactly, that's what I mean. Yeah, and there's it, that benefit to it. But sort of as you're saying, mm-hmm. turn it around the other way. They will want something back. Whereas if yeah. you do it yourself, mm-hmm. it's all yours. If you're trying to make it a full time career, do it yourself. Mm-hmm. As you say, go on Facebook, go on Twitter. I can't remember what else there is, but go on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's what I mean. And it's like. With a, with a lot of it, it's just like you get so many people like you know oh, I want to I want to be this. It, it it would be good. It would be good to you know be picked up by a, a label, which you know it's 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 it might not always ha- it might not happen for that person. You know it's it's not a it's not like a it's like one of the things where people are like you know it's like a dream kind of thing. And and it be, it would be good to be you know signed by Doctor Dre or you know that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, re- real realistically, it's not going to happen. Like you. It could, you know, you could be Eminem and you could get spammed by Dr. Dre, <laughs> you know, but realistically, you got to just, you know, just got to push yourself and like, um, you know, it'd be nice to have Dr. Dre to... <laughs> would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, it, it would, but, uh, you know, you, you just got to, you just got to find your own way and, um, you, you, like, a lot of, I know a lot of artists um, on YouTube and all that, a lot of people become so successful by just doing, like, you know, just going on YouTube and... Yeah. picking up all these views and like and you know making the money from that way and then you know spotify and things like that i don't think like at the start you're not going to make a lot of money like you know when you put a when you put a song out it's because spotify are really uh stingy when it, <laughs> when it i'm comes so to glad it. you said that yes <laughs> yeah very stingy like <laughs> it's so stingy when it comes out to, to like paint it because i've got like one track on there it's quite an old track um, it's got like just nearly a th- one thousand views, and like um, 
I go off, uh, I basically distribute, I can't even say the word, but, <laughs> but basically I do it on a root note, a thing called root note. Okay. And um, it, it's just basically the, uh, you know, it takes them about a month to get it on, but once you do, you know, you, you can split your profits. So I go like, you know, uh, for one song, uh, what's on, basically my friend did the beat and I wrote the lyrics. So we did like 50-50, I think it was. Yeah. And uh, we've only made it, it's in dollars, so we've like made uh, like a dollar, a, a dollar and ten off. I think it's ten cents. Is it ten cents? What? Yeah. A, a dollar and ten just off a uh, basically nine hundred views. And yeah, it is uh, a shame because it. I've got it on. Uh, I go through DistroKid. Oh yeah. They're quite quick. So for example, I submitted. Um, I submitted the album. A couple of days back and it takes it'll take a week to go on oh that's not um, bad so just for anyone who's watching i submitted it on uh the 10th of january and this is obviously going out in a couple of weeks time so yeah, the EP yeah, did yeah. come out on january 15th but mm. they're very quick they get everything up there it's amazon amazon music actually amazon mp3 download apple music spotify everything so i know from experience that it takes at least a hundred views to get ten cents. Give it yes, take. and it, and it, and it's it's so uh, it's it's so annoying. Like you know, oh. like you you put all this this time and effort into it, and it, and if it doesn't blow up like you want it to, not you've not wasted your time, but it kind of feels like you have, and it's just like yeah. But at the same know. time, you've also got you can turn around and say, you know what, I'm a published artist. I'm on Spotify. I'm on Apple Music, Amazon Music. If you say to Alexa, Alexa, play Dan Halliwell on Spotify or Amazon Music, whatever, mm -hmm. you will hear something. And I apologize if anyone has Alexa and they're now playing my songs. <laughs> it's just, it's just like a thousand speakers. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Just got another stream. Yes. <laughs> Extra closer to that 10 cents. <laughs> Extra, you know, you just got close to a penny, and uh, yeah. yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah it, I, I, I totally agree with you. Like on the uh, the money side of it, it's it's so bad. Yeah, it's 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 dreadful. I, I wonder how many how much money you get for um, a million if 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 you did, you know. I, I bet that wouldn't even be like you know breathtaking. I don't think it would be. You no, know? I, I don't think it would be as amazing as it sounns. Yeah, you could say, yeah, I've got a million views. Yeah, this is awesome. million. But yeah. what have you got for it? Hundred quid. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and it probably is something stupid like that, you know. Yeah. Maybe a bit more. I, I don't know. But uh, I have no idea. I can't be bothered working it out. <laughs> me, me neither. I don't think I could, I'm going to get a million, but uh, you know, it'd be nice too. Yeah. No, <laughs> but uh, well, tell you what, then, for someone who's watching and just starting out with your experience of the past five years of album making, what would your mm -hmm. advice be to them to someone who's just starting out? Um, keep going. Keep writing songs like. When I first started, um, you know, making songs and that, you obviously you don't start out good. I don't think anybody does. Like, no. you know, uh, you might make a song, you, and at the time you're like, this is the best song ever. You know, this is gonna, this is gonna, and then you look back five years and then you're like, why? Oh, why did I record why did that? I write that? <laughs> yeah, why, why did I do that? Why did I rap like that? Why did I do a flow like that? It's so bad. But then, you know, just, just, just keep going. Like, you, you're gonna get better over time. Yeah. Um, I think I think Ed Sheeran did like a, a I don't know if you've seen it. It's like he did like a he did a video on that where he started out bad and he said you're gonna get all these bad songs and then you're eventually gonna get clean flowing water. That's how I look at it. Like and uh, yeah, it's just just keep going making songs and you know just don't give up and you know you eventually will you know start getting pretty good at it. Yeah, um, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Just, yeah, that's just uh, <laughs> finish finish your songs. Yes. Finish, finish your songs, kids. Just don't. Just, you get three lines to carry on. Just carry yeah, on. Just keep doing it. Just keep going. No matter if you think it's really bad, just keep going. Because, you know, I, I'm still learning myself. You know, I'm only 22 and, you know, I, I'm still going, whatever. And, you know, just, just finish your songs, kids. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I've been doing, I've been writing. I'm, I'm 22 as well, 23, mm -hmm. a couple of weeks. And I've been doing it for, writing i've probably mm -hmm. been doing for 15 odd years give Jeez. or take um Jeez. i started when i was really young because i started playing piano and mm -hmm. it was i just put some chords together and i'd think oh this sounds really nice i'm gonna write this down um my little brother he's just turned 10 but uh 
when he was eight, we did a song about Alexa. It was, um, Alexa, what time is it? Alexa, what's the weather like? <laughs> it was just like that, but it was so cute. And I, I just couldn't help but do it for him because he, he, I love my little brother to bits and mm-hmm. I just wanted to do something for him. It was, he loved it. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, like, you know, and and uh, you probably, you know, make an impact on his life. When he grows up, he'll be, you know, he might be like, you know, I want to do this now, like music. And then, mm-hmm. you know, who, who inspired you? And he'll be like, oh my brother, you know, Daniel. <laughs> so, yeah. And then you make all of his royalties and, you know. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, as soon as he's the one making the money, I'll be like, hey, do you remember that time I showed you how to play a chord on the guitar? <laughs> just walk in, take all the money. Yeah. Just... yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good thing, you know, uh, inspiring other people. And, yeah, I th- I, you know, I'd say um, it, it does help with a lot of uh, mental health, uh, health too, like, you know, uh, yes doing it you know sometimes when i'm feeling a bit down whatever i'll write a song and then my mind will be off it then completely it'll be yeah. more focused on oh, i want to finish this song and then i never do <laughs> no, I, I completely agree with the mental health side i've suffered with depression since i was 13 and oh, no. um basically growing up with that that's something that has influenced my music and especially with with the album that i'm bringing out it's or mm-hmm. have brought out depending when people watch this um it's very much focused on last year and sort of it it that does tell a story so it's like yeah first three months they're all right nothing mm-hmm. great then it's getting to the likes of march april may and it's yeah you're by yourself you've got no one there you feel isolated and alone and then for me personally um mm-hmm. i got with my partner in may and oh, yeah. since then it's just been perfect L- like lockdown was just easier it was Mm -hmm. it was more fun because you had someone there and it was nice i've she i um asked her to marry me at christmas said yes woohoo um and thank you (laughs) (laughs) and um basically she's just been a huge influence for me for a lot of i I say a lot i've got nine songs on there four Mm -hmm. of them I think it's four, three or four are about her. Basically, she's helped. She's mm-hmm. helped make me happier, feel better. Um, she's a reason for just pushing through. And I think with a lot of people who are just moving on to the mental health side, that you've got to find that person or that reason to yeah. move mm-hmm. on, make yourself feel better, and just just push on. I'm, I'm so glad. It push on i'm i'm so glad you're like you know everything's getting better for you and that like thank you <laughs> like and crack, and crack, yeah, yeah, i can't even speak congratulations <laughs> as well congratulations uh <laughs> you know uh yeah that's that's kind of like you know i can't say i've been like you know i've been in like dark places sometimes with things and then yeah you know when, when i whenever i feel like you know someone's done me wrong or whatever, this and that and then i'm feeling you know whatever i just i just i know it's bad but i write a song about it and then I don't blame maybe, you. Best way to learn album. And then you know, uh, yeah, a lot of people do that. You know, write songs about people saying this and that. Yeah, <laughs> that it is the best way to let it out. But it, it uh, is, and, and yeah. you know, you, you've got that person as well to uh, you know, uh, your girlfriend who, who pushes you in that. Yeah. Uh, that's how I feel. In like you know, for me, like my girlfriend, you know, like shouts to her. You know, she helps me a lot and. When I'm not liking this song, she's like, "No, continue it, continue it," and oh, I will be. Oh, you know, <laughs> yeah. And it's just a, it's it's good to have good people around you. You know, I completely agree. Um, right, like, unfortunately, we have come to the end of the session. It's an absolute shame because I've loved speaking to you. <laughs> Honestly, I love speaking to you too, and I I never shut up. So <laughs> that's why not a bad thing at all. Not a bad thing at all. <laughs> but, it's but yeah, it's been a been great speaking to you. Yeah, perfect. Cheers um, for this, Jack. Yeah, no, no worries. Like, I thank you for inviting me on. This is my first, right. uh, first kind of podcast I've ever been on. So, thank, you. <laughs> thank you for inviting me on. Thank you. No worries, mate. Have a great day. Cheers. Thank you. Take care. Cheers. I'll see you. See you later. <laughs>